Question 11. So let's have a look, see what information we've got. Now, it tells me to start off with that this is a, a tangent. So therefore, this must be 90 degrees. And we need to, we need to make it clear. Let's say give a reason at each stage. So number one, we'd want something like tangent results in right angle. Number two, so we got angles in triangle, angles in, in triangle. So 32 and 90, so therefore this top one must be 58. And now we can work out the other side, so here. So number three, straight line. We know it's 180 degrees on a straight line. So therefore this one up here must be 122. And then number four, we know we've got an isosceles triangle. Now it's not always, you don't always recognize this one. But this, these two here are both the radius, so therefore it's isosceles. So isosceles, now don't worry if you can't spell isosceles when it comes to an exam, all right? As long as you write something that looks like isosceles, then it'll be absolutely fine. So what have we got? We got, so we know that this one's 122, and then we need to work out these two angles here. Well, all together, it's 180, so 180, take away, oops, 180, take away the 1, 2, 2, and then divide that by 2 to split it equally between those. So x equals 29 degrees.